G'day and welcome back to the channel. Look who's come out of the closet. You crazy mother... So I've been doing a lot of nothing on cars and it's been really frustrating. For those who knew the channel, I had surgery on my back about well, almost three months ago now and I've still got complications and I go back to the neurosurgeon next week and it's kind of meant I haven't been able to do much and this thing's sat in that spot there for months and I haven't touched it at all. But I was a little bit frustrated with the condition of my shed and I thought well I'll drag this out and I'll give the shed a bit of a clean up and um, I thought well as well give you an update on the beast, now it's outside, first time. So really if I wanted to, I reckon by this afternoon I could have it running and driving. Like the drive line's in, the brakes work, I've just got to put my manifold on, or manifolds. I have an exhaust, I've got everything to do it. Um, I've got a new radiator. I've got doors, well door skins which I could tack in if I needed to. I've got a steering wheel I can finish making. But really that's not the look I want to achieve. You know, I want it to be gloss black, and the theme of this has always been it has to be it has to look like it's only a few years old because it's a pre-war um, salt flat kind of car, and I want the wear and tear to look like it's only a few years old. So she's got to be shiny. And the reality is, to get the body to the standard that I want it, it's a lot of physical work, which I'm not really ready for. But I did go and get this thing the other day. Well, it was delivered. Let me so one thing I want to do is, um, bad back and all, um, is continue my hobby of building old cars. I've just got to be smarter about the way I do it. Less brawn, more mechanical advantage. Um, over there, under them chassis, their Jeep chassis, is a gantry, which I'm going to get some help to install, which we can do body offs, lifting engines, and that sort of stuff. I do have an engine crane. I want to get myself some electric winches. Um, I've got little bits and pieces, but I got this thing the other day. It was 50 bucks on eBay. Um, I normally do it by hand, but sand to polisher, six speed, $50 to live. You know, if it only lasts the time it takes to sand this thing down, it's earned its 50 bucks. So I can sit there, just want a milk crate and sand away. And then I can take my time slapping things out. You know, it's not that bad. It doesn't need a lot, the main part the doors, especially that door that I pulled off that skin, that needs a little bit of work. Um, but sand big, so a mate of mine has this big flexible, really long, it's about a metre long flexible sander, like it's a board, and you use this Velcro stuff. Let me show you, hang on. Here you go, this stuff here. I bought this when I did the two door conversion of my Pontiac. So it rolls out, it breaks off in square pieces, but you Velcro it to that board, and um, nice, coarse grit and I learned that trick of an old Panabita friend of mine when you're doing your Nikki as coarse as you can get you take the, um, the material off as fast as you can don't spend a lot of time but you get it nice and flat and then a good quality high fill um, and then the high fill is obviously a lot easier to sand so fair bit of body work but we'll be able to do it I reckon with some help of some mates I've got a couple of mates that know what they're doing um, we can get this thing looking straight enough to paint black but saying all that I'm not ready yet I've got uh, my appointment next week with the doc, see what he says. Um, I know what my body's telling me, but we'll see what he says and um, we'll go from there. So right now, she's just going to sit and look pretty. Not out in the yard though, I'm going to clean out my shed and um, we'll get her inside. And uh, yeah, just be frustrated for a bit longer. One thing I finally was able to get were a set of doors for the coupe for the mongrel the correct doors 28 29 doors a little bit of rust in the bottom but apart from that they're really good condition so they've got locks um, hinges latches everything on them um, but they need lower panels which isn't bad you know what I haven't even looked underneath let's have a look yeah wow well, these are good I didn't pay a lot for these either these are excellent so it just needs a front skin at the bottom just a strip um, that's easy work Easy peasy, when I'm ready. So that means I've got everything to finish this thing, make it full 28, and enough parts to make a 1930 Woody as well, which will happen eventually. Mm. I'm 
frustrated, as you can tell. But that's it from me. I thought you'd like to see where I'm at with it. I've done nothing. And um, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. But I'm going to get into that shed, put some music on, sort some things out, and um, at least make me feel better about what's in there. All right, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers.